Hi, number one, if you are the boy who came up to me on the first day of LeakyCon on Thursday and said, Hi, I watch your videos, and then I kind of just ran away, I'm sorry. I had just gotten to the hotel and I was trying to figure out where to register and I was finding all my friends and I was not expecting that at all and it was the coolest thing ever and I looked for you the rest of the conference and I never found you and I'm sure if you saw me again you just didn't say anything because I was totally rude to you and so I just really 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 need to apologize because I'm so sorry and I wish we could have hung out and talked and so please if you're watching this um, comment and tell me who you are so I can apologize in person in YouTube comments I know it's not as good as in person like we could have but uh it's the best I can do for you and now I'm really sorry okay I'll move on number two I just got back to college and I don't know how to film things here or how to do lighting so forgive me for this video number three I haven't done any book videos recently my most recent video was this weird one about Team Starkid that none of you understood so that's that's the thing. Uh, so I want to talk to you about a book, number four. This is the book, it's called B, and it's just this poem by Sarah Kay. That's my favorite poem in the world. She's a spoken word poet and she has a TED talk. If you guys don't watch TED talks, I'll link them everywhere and I'll link Sarah Kay's. She starts off with this poem um, and it starts off with um, if I should have a daughter, and I can recite like so much of it. It's my favorite poem in the world, Sarah Kay's beautiful, strong woman who has amazing poetry that you should listen to. So, I just wanted to tell you that this little book version of that poem exists, and I just bought it off Amazon for a few dollars, and it's wonderful. Number five, I just realized that I'm not wearing my video blogging glasses. Sorry. Number six, the uh... The numbering in this video doesn't make any sense. Neither does anything else in this video. Or in life, really. So. Uh... I spent way too much money on this water bottle. Water bottle, water bottle, water bottle, water bottle, water bottle, water bottle. I have a rocking chair. I figured I should make a video because my last one was so silly and incomprehensible, but this one is not any less silly or, in or incomprehensible. So I hope you like it, even though it's silly. I like silly things. Mm. Oh! I bought Harry Potter in French. I bought Looking for Alaska in French. I bought something wicked this way comes in English. Oh, I have this book and it's called Praline's Book of Friendship Questions and and it's the perfect way to get to know your friends better. And my friends and I were going through some of the questions the other night, and it's really funny because the first section is, it's all about you, and they're just get to know you questions. And um, it's really amusing because one of the questions is, what is your birthstone? And then the next question is, what do you think is your greatest achievement? And then the next question is, what shoe size do you wear? And then one of the next questions are, <laughs> how would you describe yourself in five words or less? And we're just so amused because there's such a strange mix of going directly from like, what shoe size are you to like, describe yourself in five words or less, which is like a really intimate question. And then there's like an objective like shoe size question. I don't know. It was very amusing to us at the time. Maybe it's not amusing anyone else ever. So, you never know. Meow.